This is my MQTT. Today we're going to look at MQTT and how we should modernize it. This is how I have it in my configuration file. It's all manually. Everything's all typed out nice and neat. And it's a pain every time I have to update something. For instance, right now this switch is used to control my 3D printer. And if I ever use that smart plug to control another thing, like maybe the refrigerator, then I will have to change the name here to something else. And then restart Home Assistant. It's terrible. We're going to fix it today. Here is one of my smart plug. It's on version 9.2.0, very old version. Let's update the firmware right now. Log in to the website of the smart plug. Go down to firmware upgrade. Before we update the firmware, let's get the firmware. Go to this page, GitHub, and then find the tasmoda minimum.bin and tasmoda.bin file. I already downloaded the file, so let's just upload the file right now. Click on browse, tasmoda minimum.bin. Start upgrade. Update was successful, so let's click on the main menu. Right now we're on a minimal firmware, so we definitely have to update the firmware again. This time we're going to use tasmoda.bin. Click start upgrade. Upload was successful and then the device will restart. And that's basically it. Go ahead and toggle to verify that everything is working properly. Yep, I hear a click. Now it's off. All of your information should be there already. Nothing should be resetted. Actually, before updating the firmware, you should go into the configuration, configure other, and then copy this whole template. Make sure that you got the template correctly because if anything goes wrong, if any flashing update ever occur, you can always paste this back in again so that way you don't forget anything. It was a pain for me to find this template myself, so copy and paste this to be sure that you have it as a backup. If after updating and you find this template blank, go ahead and paste it back in and then click on save. And then your template should be restored and working properly as before the uh, firmware update. And just in case your MQTT was not safe, click on it to verify that everything is correctly configured as before. Now go into Home Assistant. Go down to Settings, Integrations, Test Moda. If you don't have this Test Moda in there already, click on Add Integration and add it in. Click. I already added it right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to click on the device to make sure that it was added. And there we go. This is it. Now I can control it in Home Assistant easily on off very nice now in my configuration file i can easily delete all of this junk i don't need it anymore because i already have it working properly it's amazing what a little change can do to make your life easier all right hopefully this helped you with home assistant and mqtt for some of your test motor devices i really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching